process that no one can discriminate for any reason. And you can see the list here. There's race, color, religion, sexual, including pregnancy, uh, national origin, disability, or genetic information. Number one on age, if you notice down at the bottom, it talks about age here. And it's uh, over 40. <laughs> So most of you don't have to worry here right now. Some of you may be approaching that. But uh, the law forbids discrimination against age. So that means if, it's, uh, if there's any indication that there was age involved, we didn't want to hire you because you was too old, too young, too this, too that, you know, up until uh, anything over 40. So if by chance you turn 41 <laughs> and they ask you to leave, eh, you know, <laughs> you may have a case. Disabilities, the same thing. Uh, an employer cannot uh, discriminate against disability. Now there are some tasks that uh, some people can't do. So you're fit for the task. If you're fit for the task, you're eligible for that job, uh, no matter what your disability is. Equal pay compensation. That means if we're doing an equal job, and uh, we have the same seniority and this and this, uh, we are eligible for equal pay. In the old days, there used to be men working alongside the women, and the men would be paid twice as much as the women. Most, of the, most days now, you know, in the current world here, you don't see that happening uh, anymore. You and uh, there was one section at the bottom there that was entering job content, not title. Because you could both have the same title, but if your actual job content is different, one is a little bit more sophisticated or a little bit more critical, then it's not a comparison just because of the title. Then we deal with genetic information. The company cannot go on your genetic information. This used to happen a long time ago. What they did when they first had access to this is they would take a look at you because most companies uh, insure you. So the insurance companies and the company uh, uh, would get in together and the insurance company would say, well, let me see their medical background. Yeah, they're a good fit for the job, but checking their medical background, I find out that cancer runs in the family. And they were actually, and that's why this law came about here, they were actually doing that. So what happens is what happened is the law stepped in, the federal government stepped in and said you cannot do that anymore. So genetic information, harassment. I don't know if we have any problems here with harassment. I don't think so. If there is, you can bring them to uh, Christine. But harassment is in the form of employment discrimination uh, that violates, and you can see it up there, it's the Title V of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. How many people were here in 64? I was. <laughs> you were here, right? <laughs> and I was actually on Guam in 64. And in them days, they had a tendency to call someone sweetie, sweetheart, this and that. Uh, with appropriate, unappropriate touching, like they would come up behind, uh, you know, a men would come up behind a female and just, you know, you need a little relaxation, you know, and uh, massage them and stuff like that there. It was very inappropriate. But that was common practice back then. And again, the federal government come in and came in and said, you cannot do that. And national origin, this was put in there also because we have a tendency or we had a tendency to go by the background, uh, the titles. You know, I'm an immigrant back in the uh, 40s and 50s. The Italians came in and we were workers, you know, just like the Hispanics are. And, you know, some of the slangs they use, you know, for us it was guineas and wops and all this other stuff, you know. And it seemed like each nationality took its turn in the barrel. Uh, for uh, Hispanics coming from down south, they would uh, talk wet backs and things like that. This is the stuff we can't get. National origin can't be part of that. And the um, uh, way we speak about people is degrading. You start talking to someone in a degrading way, and it sort of minimizes who they are and where they came from. 
you can't do that. Backgrounds, race and color, obviously. And you see discrimination involves treating someone uh, unfavorable because he or she has a certain race because of a personal characteristics. And these can be such things as just the texture of the skin. You know, you hear it all, all the time. They talk about the, the, the white people, you know, the brown people, black people, and this and that. And this is no, you know, that's a form of uh, discrimination. It's also a form of, of categorizing people to their uh, background, of where they, even if they don't come from there. Uh, if they have darker skin. I come from a family where my, both my sisters are uh, light-haired and blue-eyed from the same mother and father, we think. <laughs> you know, but the, uh, and I was, I'm sort of a lighter. My brother, you know, my younger brother, he was very dark. If you wouldn't even know that he was Italian, he was very dark. So our, you know, our, our culture and our background and the Italians have different levels. And so, uh, the, my brother used to be taken for being black all the time, so he would be categorized as black, he would be categorized as this and that, you know. I was a, what they call a high-low, I was halfway in between, <laughs> you know. But this stuff here is very degrading, and I didn't like it back then, and uh, a lot of times back in the uh, old days, like I said, I have a little time on my, my side here, and there was times where you just put up with it, because you were sort of like either a minority or the brunt and you just didn't want to get into a, a fight over it so it would hurt your feelings. And this company here doesn't allow that and uh, not many companies allow that. But if that does happen in a company or in this company here, like I said, you have to bring it up and bring it to the attention of management. Christine is the, she's the main. She, uh, lowers, she'll lower the hammer in a second. You know, she doesn't put up with anything. And obviously religion, right now there's a lot going on in the world and people are looking at different religions as part of the problem. And as we know, any educated person or someone with a, a little bit of common sense realizes it's not the religion, it's people. People are the problem. You know, there's just bad people on all sides. You know, as you can see up there, it talks about Buddhism, Christianity, Hinduism, Islam. You know, uh, uh, no matter what it is, uh, you know, we can't uh, judge people by that. And, uh, and in a workspace, you can't have that happen. This company is liable for anything that it promotes in any of the things that we've talked about here. Sex, obviously, uh, the sex of a person. And then sexual harassment, and like I said, that's that's uh, sometimes that's a pretty touchy situation because sometimes uh, that can be sort of subtle. But if there's any uh, discomfort of anyone in here, you know, being uh, sexually harassed, it's unlawful. You know, and like I said, the company is liable. Harassment can include sexual harassment or uh, unwelcome sexual advances request of sexual favors, and other verbal and physical harassment of a sexual nature. Like I said, inappropriate touching, even looking at, or talking to other people. Again, I keep saying this over and over because I want it to sink in that this company doesn't allow it. Even if there wasn't a federal law, I know it wouldn't be allowed in this company. And note, it's also illegal to uh, discriminate against a person because the person complained about a harassment. So once a harassment is made or a complaint, uh, they cannot be uh, discriminated because of that. Take that. Most employees with at least 15 employees are covered by the EEOC. Uh, I have the website up front. This is our local area here. I believe that you would fall under this category right here. If there was anything in the company that was uh, uh, not within you, you can't get results in the company, or you think it's not being handled correctly or so forth, this is actually the organization that's downtown LA.